To reduce maintenance and save valuable time, it is important to use dynamic members. Substitution variables are one example. Substitution variables act as global placeholders for information that changes regularly. Each variable has an assigned value that can be changed centrally on the S-based server. When you select a substitution variable as a member, its value is based on this dynamically generated information. So, you could set the current month member to the substitution variable cur month so that when the month changes, you do not need to update the month value manually everywhere that it appears in the application, be that in forms, reports, business rules, etc. You change the value of the variable once, and the change is reflected wherever you had used the substitution variable, thus reducing maintenance required. To select a substitution variable in a form, go to the Members Editor. There's a tab for Members and a tab for Variables. Click the Variables tab. The list of substitution variables for the dimension will appear. Click on the variable you wish to use and click the add arrow in the middle of the window to move it to the right hand box. Click OK to complete the selection. Another example of selecting dynamic members is using functions to select groups of members. Functions define which members to include based on one defined member. For example, you can choose to say the parent of member X, or children of member X, or descendants of member X, etc. That way, as changes are made to dimension hierarchies, as you add, remove, and move around members, you do not have to update selections wherever you may have used them in the application. For example, if you use the children of net income in form X, and then add members under net income after the fact, these new children of net income will now also appear in Form X without you having to add them manually to the form. To use a formula to select a member in a form, we simply click on the member, in this case we will use net income, and then click on the formula selector symbol. A list of available formulas will appear. You can see there are a lot of options on how to define which members you want to include. We are going to choose children in this example. Now that we have selected children, you can see that children of net income appear in the right hand box. We then click OK to complete our selection. And now you can see in the form that children of net income are in the rows. We didn't have to select them individually, which saved a lot of time, and now as the hierarchy evolves, the rows of this form will automatically update to reflect any changes.